Hey everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I'll be reviewing the F5E FCU. This is a currently 11.3 BR squadron fighter in the Japanese Air Force's tech tree, though of course, flies under the Thai flag. Being that this is a squadron vehicle, you can either be part of a squadron and research it over a period of time, as it requires a hefty 550,000 squadron RP and 1 million SL, or you could buy it outright for around 8,000 golden eagles. With that said, in this video, I'll be going over everything that you need to know about this fighter, including its stats, how it plays, its strengths and weaknesses, I'll give some scores in several key areas, and then I'll give my final recommendation on if I feel this vehicle is worth grinding out, outright purchasing, or neither of the above. That said, if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing to my channel, but without further ado, let's get into it. Now to start, I'll place its stat card here on the side of the screen. Important things to note are its armament, its rate of climb, and its number of countermeasures. Now for how it plays. Quite simply, this is an F5E at 11.3 PR, but with Python 3 and AIM-9 P4 all-aspect IR missiles. What this means is that, while it will typically have much lower performance compared to other aircraft in a match, as it has the same flight performance as the standard F5E, it still has excellent maneuverability as well as the fantastic Python 3 missiles and fairly good AIM-9 P4s. Because of all this, as well as the lack of radar-guided missiles, the FCU is a close-range specialist, being one of the highest PR planes in War Thunder to fight this way. It won't outrun the F-16 or MiG-29, both of which you'll commonly see in matches, but it can typically turn with them or even outturn them, and then line up some shots with its two 20mm cannons or, of course, fire its missiles. The FCU is a bit of an anomaly at high tier because, while it is very capable in its own right, it's essentially an F-5E with better missiles, which means that it sees a somewhat large BR jump to now face planes that totally outperform it. The FCU, however, has quite a few things on its side, including its turning capability, size, and ability to deceive enemies. Very often, you will be left alone if there are numerous allies around you, as you will likely be perceived as a less important threat. While the missiles that the FCU carries can easily be more effective than any missiles carried by other planes in your match. Further, as mentioned before, the ability to use this vehicle as a gunfighter is still present. In all, however, you will typically want to stay low to the ground in order to avoid the radar-guided missiles of enemies, and then pick off enemies, of course, one by one once they get within range, typically starting off with the Python 3 missiles to take out more challenging foes, and then switching to your AIM-9P4 missiles to go after lower energy or distracted enemies. In down tiers, you can play a bit more fast and loose with the FCU, but I'd still largely recommend sticking to the aforementioned strategy. I would also avoid using bombs in air battles with the FCU, as they will kill the already iffy performance of the FCU at this BR, and you probably won't make it to a base with them on it. Now, with that said, for Ground RB, the FCU is extremely competent, much like the standard F5E. While it isn't incredible, the FCU is definitely a big help in a tech tree that could use it. It can carry up to five 500-pound and 750-pound bombs, three 1,000-pounders, and a single 2,000-pound bomb, as well as up to 76 Mighty Mouse rockets, eight Zunis, and of course, a 30-millimeter GAL-13A cannon. Of course, it also has ballistic computers for these weapons, as none are guided. The best anti-ground ordnance, however, are the up to four AGM-65B Maverick TV guided missiles, each of which can easily score a kill and be launched typically from seven plus kilometers. While the overall loadout on this vehicle isn't fantastic, the Mavericks turned the FCU into a major threat against ground targets. Somewhat unfortunately, the FCU only has air-to-air -air upgrades over the standard F5E, and thus it has the same exact CAS loadout from that aircraft, of course, with no improvements. Thankfully though, the Mavericks are still plenty good at this BR, although of course a touch outdated, with some good unguided weapons as well. This allows you to either act in a standoff role with longer range Mavericks, or to get up close and personal with dub ordnance. Quite honestly, the FCU is effective in both ways, so long as you make sure to stay out of sight of enemy SPAA. Now with that said, let's get into its strengths and weaknesses, and first for its strengths. This vehicle has two excellent Python 3 all-aspect IR missiles, as well as two decent all-aspect AIM-9P4s, of which I'll get a little bit more into in just a moment. Second, this vehicle has great turn capabilities. Third, the FCU features RWR. Fourth, not that it matters all too much at this BR, but it can still help. The F5E FCU is a small aircraft, making it somewhat more difficult to hit with guns. For its fifth strength, this vehicle can carry up to four AGM-65B Maverick TV-guided ATGMs. Sixth, it can also carry a decent amount of anti-ground ordnance, including up to 76 Mighty Mouse rockets, eight Zunis, and of course, an assortment of bombs weighing between 500 and 2,000 pounds. For its seventh 
weapon strength, this vehicle features ballistic computers for both bombs and rockets. Eighth, it carries the powerful 30mm GAL 13A cannon that can tear up both air and ground vehicles with ease. It also doesn't cost spawn points in ground RB. And finally, this vehicle has a fairly good roll rate. Now for its weaknesses. While not terrible, the performance of the FCU at this BR is a bit lackluster, as it has the same engines as the decently lower BR F5E. Second, while the Python missiles are great, the AIM-9 P4s don't have all too much G overload and are typically better used against enemies that don't know that you're there. They also have a 2.5 Mach limit as opposed to 3.5 on the Python 3s. They're not bad, but they do force you to choose which type of missile you want to use in any given scenario because of how different they are compared to each other. For its third weakness, this features a subpar amount of countermeasures with 45 in total. Fourth, while I typically don't consider BR in the weaknesses section, the F5E FCU will be up against some planes like the F-16 and MiG-29, both of which totally outclass it in terms of performance and total missiles. For its fifth weakness, this vehicle lacks radar-guided missiles. Sixth, while not terrible, the two 20mm M39A3 cannons aren't great and only perform somewhat decently versus aircraft and lightly armored ground targets. And finally, mounting any secondary ordnance outside of missiles will result in a huge performance penalty on a plane that, quite frankly, cannot afford it. Now with that said, let's get into how I score this aircraft. For dogfighting and ARB, I give it a 6.25 out of 10. While the F5E is getting a bit long in the tooth at 11.3 BR, especially being that it is nearly always an up tiers facing fighters with substantially better performance than it, the FCU thankfully still maintains the maneuverability to be able to hang with tougher enemies, and boasts the aforementioned Python 3 missiles, as well as the decent AIM-9 P4s. The Python 3s are excellent at this BR, and with the maneuverability of the FCU, you should be able to get behind enemies, especially those that are distracted, and pick them off with ease. While not perfect, as the FCU only has two of its Python 3s and two decent AIM-9 P4s for a total of four missiles, it is still great in many circumstances at this BR. Unfortunately, as mentioned before, it lacks radar-guided missiles, only has 45 countermeasures, and has mediocre performance, all traits that prevent the FCU from scoring higher in this category. It might not be the top dog in any match, but I have had relatively consistently decent matches with the FCU, which in my opinion is a good quality to have. Now for close air support, I also give it a 6.25 out of 10. For close air support, the FCU is also very good and possibly even a little great, but certainly not spectacular. Still, it's plenty good enough to annihilate several enemies in a single go, typically with its AGM-65B Maverick ATGMs. They aren't incredible as they are subsonic and have a difficult time tracking outside of clear conditions, but they are still plenty good as a standoff weapon, especially against enemies on open fields. Even still, with ballistic computers and unguided weapons, the FCU can still be a threat from close ranges as well. Like the FCU's performance in air battles, it has a plenty good niche to fill in ground battles and can perform a number of important functions competently, from standoff CAS to close range strikes and, of course, air cover. It isn't the best in game or even at this BR in any of those roles, but it is capable of doing all three, even simultaneously if you create the right loadout for it. Versatility is the name of the game for the FCU in terms of both CAS and dogfighting. Now, overall, I give it a 6.25 out of 10. While not especially great, or at least not in my experience, as I'm sure many people will debate me in the comments for even just saying that, the F5 FCU is still a hell of a close range fighter. Totally forgoing any long range missiles in favor of a good mix of close range IR missiles, the FCU can out turn, out gun, and out missile enough enemies at close range with ease. Much the same goes for its close air support capabilities. The plane itself isn't the best at this BR, but the weapons it carries are good enough to make it pretty great as an overall package. Now with that said, do I recommend the purchase or research of the F5E FCU? As it is a squadron vehicle that receives no RP and SL bonuses over regular tech tree vehicles, kind of like a premium vehicle would, I will say to research it and then purchase it with Silver Lions, but to not purchase it for Golden Eagles. The FCU is a very good or even great plane, but it provides no bonus to grinding the Japanese air tech tree, thus taking it out of consideration for purchase via Golden Eagles for me, though if you really need it for a CAS aircraft, I could see some people doing that. 
Ultimately though, one of the issues with the FCU is not in the plane itself, but rather in the planes that it fights. While it has comparable missiles to a lot of enemies that it might fight, the FCU thoroughly lacks in all performance characteristics outside of maneuverability and that alone will not be enough to win many dogfights, especially with the crazy amount of up tiers that this plane currently sees. Now I don't think that the FCU needs a down tier, but like with many other aircraft, it could benefit from decompression. There are so many aircraft that should be in War Thunder that would be excellent foes for this vehicle rather than the current slate of MiG-29s, F-16s, and others that it faces all the time. If we were to decrease the BR of the FCU, it would likely absolutely dominate with its Python 3 missiles, which is why I think that a general decompression would not only help the FCU, but of course many other aircraft as well. Regardless, it still flies plenty well, especially when in down tiers, but can hold its own in up tiers, especially if you go after distracted enemies. I like this plane especially as a high tier gunfighter and close range aircraft but being a squadron vehicle as well as having meh performance makes me shy away from recommending it for purchase via Golden Eagles. Otherwise, I still recommend it for research, especially if you need a very good CAS near top tier for Japan ground, or you just want a plane to whip around in the ARB and have a lot of fun. I'll give the FCU my Tankenstein seal of approval, but just barely. Once we see further decompression at high BRs, I will likely give the FCU a bit more of my approval, but for now, it just faces way better aircraft than it, way more often than I'd like. It can still do well in those matches, but if we saw fewer of those matches, it'd be a bit better at its BR. Now with that said, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I would greatly like to know your opinion of this video and of course of the FCU. It's a very interesting aircraft and a lot of people think it's a great plane for Japan. Personally, I think this is a great plane for Japan as well and is probably what they need. But again, thanks so much and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care everyone.